Um, but going back to the idea of things like Marks and Spencers, I brought a Ribena bottle out with me. If you look on the label of Ribena, it tells you quite clearly um, this bottle is made from 100% recycled plastic. The cap is made from plastic which is not from a recycled source and the label is made from paper. I love things like this. Why aren't more companies doing that? If you don't drink Ribena, it doesn't mean you have to swap, but you could write to, you could send an email to the customer care line for Robinsons or Vimto or mm. Sainsbury's or whatever saying, I'm so impressed that Ribena bottles are 100% recycled plastic. When are you going to do something like that? I love recycled stuff and um, these were, I'm a very easy person to buy for because <laughs> you just look for something that's recycled really. They're gorgeous, yeah, I love so them. These yeah. are 100% these are recycled glass mm -hmm. um, that somebody bought me as a present once. Um, lovely Helen Miller bought me this for my birthday mm. last year, saving the planet one sip at a time. And it comes from this um, shop, Typo. And I didn't realise that they were quite as ethical as they are. They're actually 80% sustainable already mm -hmm. and working towards 100%. Um, so it's that idea of looking for more ethical companies, looking for the brands that actually are trying to make a difference and do things right. Um, and sometimes it's not just about containers and the things that you're using in the kitchen and um, I am very passionate about fair trade but even if it wasn't fair trade this is unbleached sugar yeah it's, go it's not brown sugar it's not demerara it's just not bleached we, we bleach everything because we think white looks good so this is just golden granulated mm -hmm. sugar it's just not bleached when you think about the processes that are used so one of the reasons I buy fair trade bananas and organic bananas is because I've been to a banana plantation in Costa Rica and when we, it was a Del Monte one and when we stopped to do photographs the guide said don't touch anything, don't touch the bananas, don't touch the trees because if you touch your face afterwards you will be really sick but when the crop fertilizing planes fly over they spray the whole area they spray the schools the garden the paths nice. everything it's really really bad for the people who work on the banana plantations some companies are getting better about this fifes i think are one of the better ones to make sure that that mass spraying and not caring if it goes on the village and so on and um, but just caring actually mm -hmm. thinking about what you're putting in your I don't mean it all has to be fair trade but just looking for the companies who are trying to make a difference that it's not just greenwash they're not just going oh yes let's stick something on our corporate social responsibility but actually trying to make a difference Yorkshire Tea are really good um, ha t uh, Tailors of Harrogate really good supply chain really good uh, relationship with their workers mm -hmm. and lots of the supermarkets are catching up I mean Morrison's was one of the first ones to introduce paper bags at the checkouts mm -hmm. to try and discourage as much plastic bag use and frequently now, when you go into a shop, they will off offer you some. Nice my, my, I know my son <laughs> made me buy this. I didn't need a bag. I was in typo. <laughs> it was one pound, and a hundred percent of the proceeds went to education in the developing world. So it was it was a bit of a win win. Yeah, buy yeah. the bag. They've got a little video playing in the shop at the till of the schools that they're helping. Mm -hmm. So. Plastic can be sometimes really demonised now. It's like too simple that there's just goodies and baddies and plastic's the baddie. But it's single-use plastics. Exactly, yeah. yeah. It's, it's yeah. not every single, you know. These plastic plates have lasted me about 12 years already and they'll last me another 12 years. Mm -hmm. And I've lent them to neighbours when they've been doing parties. They're great. When we do picnics, we take all of this stuff with us mm -hmm. and then just bring it home and wash it when we get home rather than chucking things away. So uh, yeah, my plastic eventually became quite worn out and now I've invested in some uh, bamboo cups for the house, um, which are quite good. So non-breakable out for the garden as well. They're lovely. Yeah, and um, also they do plates and bowls, but um, I've also got the e-coffee cups, um, which I think are also bamboo. Yeah. I'm not entirely sure with that. Um, and then we've got uh, metal straws and some glass straws, yeah. which are yeah. obvious ones to, I, I Susie's feel, brought hers. I have quite a few inside. Anyone who knows me well knows that I like cocktails. Mm -hmm. And so I had to change my straws and I, I, I got two nice straws and a nice little Hessian drawer bag. Um, pretty cut. Some of them are straight straws. Some of them are bent straws. Uh, mm -hmm. And that made my, my cocktail sipping more ethical as well. <laughs> so, and you've got a little caddy here as well where you can um, yes, put so your tea bags and things. Yeah. 
yeah, going yeah. To... I got a compost heap um, uh, going in the garden about uh, nine months, a year ago. It was from um, the council. And recently I've made myself, because I was running in and out of the house all the time, putting everything into the compost bin, I bought myself a little kitchen caddy, uh, which also has uh, a liner inside that is compostable. So I don't have to empty everything in there, but I can, when it's in the house, it's just... Um, just a bit easier to and I'm nowhere of, near really, that organised. <laughs> we have a giant Haribo tub, which is our kitchen caddy, and then we have a. We used to have two of the the council ones, but when we had the garden redeveloped, they didn't fit where they used to be. So we've got one in the front garden now, and it's great. The compost mm -hmm. that comes out once you get it going, the compost that comes out the bottom is fabulous, yep. and then you use it in your garden, and you're not you're not paying for your compost. So, and uh, we're both here with our metal water bottles, mm -hmm. filming on a on a sunny day, feeling thirsty. So. <laughs> Good. Mine was from Lidl. I don't know where uh, yours I was from. I think mine was from the range. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, but again, just re reduces the amount of plastic you, and they do last mm. really well too. So, I just find them easier to use as well, rather than uh, the screw tops. Especially if you're at the gym or out running, you've got something you can yeah. flip back or, um, yeah, yeah, do the spout a lot more. So, just a couple of little things about something I'm very passionate about, which is closing the loop. I said at the beginning about us throwing things away. And even when it comes to recycling, when you put it on your box and it gets collected or your green bin or you drop stuff off at a supermarket, you're still kind of pushing it away out of your mind. You're giving it to somebody else to deal with. And I think it's really important to then look for things that have recycled content, because if you're not buying the product that's made from the stuff that you're recycling, well, what's the point in recycling in the first place? So I've got a few little bits. So we've already talked about my, my lovely glasses that were made from recycled glass. Glass is often used to make roads and, and all kinds of like bathroom surfaces, all kinds of different things. Recycled paper is really important. I wish more loo roll contained recycled paper, um, but this little shop typo, um, all of their notepads are recycled paper content. So good to look for things like that. Um, I've got a few things in my washing up bowl that I'll come to in a minute, but my washing up bowl is made from recycled plastic. It's by Addis um, and it's 100% recycled plastic, which I was quite pleased with. Um, people on things like Etsy are very good sometimes with recycled products. So my pretty box files that I got for Christmas, um, these are made from 100% recycled cardboard and then decorated with hand painted print, uh, hand printed paper um, and so I thought they were rather pretty um, to mm -hmm. have in my office. Uh, my phone cover is made from recycled plastic. Yep, actually. Yeah, so it's my yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, um, I even have some pens here that are made completely from recycled materials um, and they're fine, they're just gel pens. Remember as well that you can then go and recycle pens at Ryman's. A lot of people don't know that and we'll mm -hmm. talk about that in a second. Um, so I have a little jokey quiz for you here. I've got my clipboard with an Eco Zero leaflet and I'd like to just hold it up to the camera so you get the chance to see if you can work out what it used to be. So it used to be a circuit board. Circuit boards are all, always skipped because they have such um, you know, different materials and so on and they're not pure plastic uh, and a company made them into Christmas decorations and clipboards. Um, next one is my handbag. This is my favourite handbag. It was from a shop on Regent Street. Um, I'll tell you the name in a minute so it doesn't give it away. So again, if I hold it up really close, you can probably work out what it is. It's made of ring pulls. The shop is called Bottle Top and everything in the shop is recycled. And the last one is really hard. Nobody has guessed this right yet. I do this quite often. This is my purse. My purse had a whole life as something else first and it was a fire hose. It did 25 years in the London Fire Brigade and a designer company called Elvis and Cress make them into purses, wallets, belts, laptop covers, all kinds of things. And the profits go to the firefighters charity. So you feel like you've uh, sort of done a good deed. Um, so as well as the actual closing the loop, looking for recycled things, there's also the making different choices. So I just want to rave about bamboo for a second. Susie's already shown you her gorgeous cups. Um, but these are socks. This is a lovely company called BAM and they do these really, they're so soft, you know, if you could have not whatever smell-o-vision, touch-o-vision was, <laughs> they are so, so soft. I'm going to have to stroke that now. Yeah, you have to stroke, stroke the socks. They are clean. <laughs> um, this is a, a, a yoga top or just like a jumper, a yoga top, bamboo. My yoga trousers are made of bamboo. 
Very Bamboo soft. is so sustainable. The problem with cotton is it's great for our skin. It's not great for the planet. It only takes up something like three percent of the world's arable land is uh, is given to cotton growth, but it's over thirty five percent of the world's pesticides and fertilizers. It's really not a great substance for the planet, and um, unfortunately, the the market is so swamped by cheap American cotton that's very very hard for the the farmers in places like Africa to make a living from it anymore but bamboo grows rampantly anybody who knew our front garden until quite recently mm. knows that that's true we had bamboo in our front garden and um, so perhaps to look for some things that have some bamboo content or are made from bamboo instead of cotton but again just thinking about some of the things that you buy and what kind of impact they have on the planet and where you can seeing if you can close the loop mm -hmm. you used the stuff you threw away the stuff into a recycling chain and then you bought something that was made from the recycled content